What's up guys, it's your boy Sean, aka High Roller 1969. Today I'm going to show you guys how I went from rocking these pants every day, size 48 jeans, to this. So stay tuned, you guys are going to want to hear the story. Alright guys, so I appreciate everybody uh, coming over here to watch this video. And I, I want to say thank you to every single one of my subscribers and everybody who gave me my, you know, thumbs up and likes and shares and all the support that I get on YouTube. It's, it's really, really cool. Um, so, this is the story of how I lost a whole crap ton of weight in just like four months. No, it wasn't magic. I didn't take any uh, magical pills, magical beans. I didn't have surgery or anything like that. How I did it was back in like October, uh, it start, you know, October starts the holiday season, you know, um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, all that jazz stuff, you know. Those, those holidays were like a little sad for me. Um, a lot of my family um, kind of parted ways and separated into like two separate units. And uh, it wasn't that it was depressing or anything like that. It was more so that it was sad for me. And the fact that family wasn't together the way that we used to be, and you know, it, it's, it's a lot of stress, you know? Um, however though, I, I dealt with it pretty good. Um, you know, I, I kinda, I guess I kinda started to like fall into, not, not a depression, because a depression is like something horrible. Uh, into like a, a, a sadness or like I needed distractions. You know, that was exactly what I needed. So I actually manifested myself being sick. Believe it or not, you can manif manifest yourself in being, being sick. You can also manifest yourself being healthy. So remember that. Whether if you're a positive person or a negative person. And at the time, I was, I was tending to be a negative person. Um, so therefore, you know, when you watch TV, what do you see on TV? Nothing but commercials for sickness. We live in a very sick society. So of course it's gonna brainwash us. And I realized that I was like, wow, I'm being like a really negative person. And I believe that I'm actually physically getting sick. So I ran to a whole bunch of different doctors and everything. I had blood work done, tests done and everything else. You know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. And every one of the doctors, they all told me the same thing. Oh, you have IBS. Oh, you have um, uh, acid reflux, or it's this, or it's that. It's nothing to worry about, blah, blah, blah. But yet I wasn't feeling too good. So therefore, I didn't eat. Uh, well, what I did eat was small, it was crappy, and um, it wasn't very often. So in other words, I guess I kind of starved myself for prob well, not starved myself, but definitely undernourished myself for about a month or so. Then afterwards, I realized what I was doing, and I was like, wow, like, you know, I'm, I actually made myself physically sick because I needed my distractions. How sad is that? Well, now I became a very, very positive person, and um, I guess a very spiritual person, you know, as well. Not just because of that, but because, like, you know, I, my whole entire life, everything that I've ever wanted in life, no matter what it was, I always got it. And it was usually through hard work, but of course it was through a thought. So remember like this one thing that thoughts become things. What you think about, you bring about. If you sit there and you complain, oh, my life sucks, oh, it's a rainy day, oh, I have no car, oh, I have no job, oh, there's no hope, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Your life's not going to get any better. Sitting there bitching and crying like a, like a little freaking baby is not going to make your life better. Manning up a little bit and saying, you know what? I'm going to tackle this, I'm going to tackle that, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Make your demand out to the universe, okay, make your demand out to God. There is nowhere in the, in the universe does it say, um, I roll in 1969, this is his life, this is how it's written, blah, 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 okay, it ain't like that. This is our life. We hold the pen, we hold the paper, we can write our own life. Whether if it's good or whether if it's bad. See, every single thing that you're, in the whole entire life that you have, you've manifested. And it sucks to say, but 
Like, the good things and the bad things in your life, you know, like anything good and bad, you've manifested yourself, all right? So if you're broke and you're sitting there and you're sad and you're depressed and, and you know, you're just not feeling good, okay, it's your fault. And I don't want to sound like a douchebag by saying it, but it's so true. If you got into a positive vibe and you felt positive and you, you started to vibrate positivity, then your whole entire world is going to change. Your financial state, your relationships, you're gonna have all the negative people that are in your life are either gonna turn to be positive, they're gonna change, or they're gonna be out of your life. So, I pretty much said to myself, I'm, I'm, I didn't say I'm not sick, okay? I'm not healthy or anything like that. What I said, what I kept on saying is, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am strong both mentally and physically and spiritually. And I just kept on repeating that over and over and over again. You guys want to do a funny trick? Okay, this is magic. Okay, take out your, your left and right arms. Put them together straight, okay? Now, my left arm is usually typically always shorter than my right arm because I broke my elbow and I stopped growing a long time ago. See how it's kind of like bent? Well, anyways, long story short. So if I sit here and I'm looking at my hand and I'm going to say it seven times and I want you guys to do the same thing too at the same time that I'm doing it. Just look at your hand and believe in it and know that it's true. And just say, grow, 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 grow. Focus on it. Say it seven times. Now look. You guys see that? How much longer? Okay. That's, that's, that's the, the power of your demand. Whatever your demand is, if you're sick right now, you don't feel good, say heal, or I am healthy. Just keep, I keep on like repeating it throughout your day. Okay, if you're sad, smile for no freaking reason. That's all you gotta do, you feel so much better. So, back to my weight loss story. Okay, so I kept on saying to myself, uh, you know, my whole entire family, um, they, they've always been overweight. Four people in my family has had, had weight loss surgeries. Either gastric bypass or lap band, okay? And it worked for them. They're healthier, uh, which is great for them. Fantastic. But I didn't want to take that approach. I said to myself, you know what? I need to change. I quit smoking uh, three years ago. Uh, I don't drink at all. I don't use drugs. Um, I'm, I don't have any addictions. And... Anybody that you know that can quit smoking successfully knows that they can pretty much do anything. And it was all because I sat there constantly and I kept on saying I'm a non-smoker, uh, I'm healthy, uh, you know, I just, I just knew that I don't smoke. So, speaking of smoke, I'm going to light my incense here. This is uh, frankincense and myrrh. And the reason why I'm lighting it right now for you guys is because I want to bring positivity to the video from this point on. Okay? And I really want I really want everybody just to focus. And listen to my story, listen to how I have to say it. So anyone took notes? I wrote down notes for everybody. So we already went over, I thought myself sick. So true. And then I thought myself healthy. I am healthy. I am strong. I am rich. I am healthy. I am strong. I am rich. Just keep saying it. Okay? Say whatever works for you. Okay? Whatever it is. Don't focus on what you don't want. Focus on what you do want and only focus on the end results. So, well, what I mean by that is like, you know, don't say, I don't have, I don't have any money right now. I don't know how this is going to happen. You know what? It doesn't matter how it's going to happen. The thought will come to you. Your life will change. Just focus on the end result that you want, okay? Oh, that stuff smells really good. Frankincense and more. I really like it. So anyways, uh, be very thankful for everything. What I mean by that is be thankful for your family. Be thankful for your health. Be thankful for your friends. And especially be thankful for love. Every single day, keep that attitude of gratitude. Just Take like 15 minutes a day and just think about how lucky you really, really are. You have a roof over your head, you have a car to drive, you have eyes to watch this video, you have the ears to hear me, you have two legs to walk around. Think about all the people out there that are well worse that don't have like a quarter of that. 
You know what I mean? There are sick children that are dying of cancer that are in hospitals that are sick. Think about their what their parents are going through. You know? Be very, very thankful for everything. Be so thankful for everything that you have and just keep that in mind. Trust me, it'll make you feel so alive and connected. Okay? So I already went over this. Focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Um, so therefore, losing weight. I wanted to lose weight. I saw myself as a thinner person. I saw myself as a healthier person. I saw myself with more energy. I saw myself playing with my daughter more often and being more physical. Uh, airsoft season's coming up, and I'm going to kick everybody's ass on that field. Just so you guys know, be prepared. That high roll up is serious. All right, this is part of my training. <laughs> Okay, uh, feel good, even if you don't, keep telling yourself that you feel good, okay? You may wake up tired, oh crap, it's raining out, it's cloudy, it's snowing again, blah, 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 okay? Focus on feeling good. Turn every single negative thought that you have around. The average person, an average person, not a person with like anxiety or anything like that, but the average person has 60,000 thoughts a day. I'm going to guarantee at least 52,000 of them are negative because we are born and raised in a negative society, negative community, negative TV. So you just got to make sure really that you just feel good every single day. And even if it's a lie, I don't care, man. Lie to yourself. Lie to yourself. Eventually, your mind's going to believe it. You know, NASA took an experiment and wired up all these guys, you know, we can measure a thought to a frequency with these little things that attach to our heads and everything else, right? Okay, so um, they took uh, world-class athletes and they said, run your race as if you were really doing it in real life. And the funny thing was that the same, the same muscles flexed and the same muscles worked uh, as if it was really, really happening, even though that they were just sitting there mentally thinking it. So your mind cannot make a connection between reality or what's fake. Remember that. You can trick your mind. Okay. So we're going to talk about diet. How did my diet go? Okay, first of all, I cut out all dairy. Dairy is like, if you're not a child or like a young teenager, dairy is like nothing but like poison. The hell with dairy. Um, so I cut out uh, milk. And I started drinking almond milk, and um, oh man, I love almond milk. That stuff is so good for you. Um, cut sugars. I cut out so much sugar out of my diet, it was ridiculous. But I eat natural things that are natural sugar, like um, like some fruits, things like that. Uh, find, you know, find an alternative. You know, honey, honey may be a good one for some people. Whatever, you know. Um, this is the biggest one ever. Cut out processed foods. Stop eating this processed, fast, easy meal shit. It's destroying you. It's keeping you fat. It's high in like, it's high in unnatural bad salt. It's just so, just trust me. I'm not gonna get into it because I'll talk, I can talk to you all for like two hours talking about processed foods. Just stay away from processed foods. Uh, lots of water. Oh man, you know where's my water? Oh, I thought I had water here, but I must have forgot it. Drink lots and lots of water, like as much water as you can. Um, you start off in the morning, <laughs> drink water. First thing in the morning, just down yourself some water. Uh, it's it's really, really good for your body. We are like 90% water, so, you know, if we don't drink water, what's gonna happen to us? We're gonna like evaporate and disintegrate, whatever. Uh, cut out salt. Anything high in salt, get rid of it, cut it out. You don't wanna eat it. Um, high in salt's just, they're just not good for you. Uh, that, I'm just telling you guys what I did and how it worked for me. Uh, find alternatives to butter and sugar, etc. Um, as for butter, I actually make my own butter. And, and I actually really enjoy making my own butter. And I know what's in it too. So like, if I'm making butter and garlic, um, or garlic butter or whatever, you know, I know exactly what's in it. I know exactly what I'm doing with it. So um, yeah, make, you know, making my own butter is really cool. Um, Cook your own foods. You gotta definitely, definitely cook your own foods. Uh, take the time out because you're not gonna eat processed food, but you still wanna eat dinner, you still wanna eat a meal. Uh, you're gonna have to take the time out and uh, learn how to cook there. So um, definitely cook your own foods. Uh, be creative, go on Google, do some recipes. 
Uh, watch a few of my videos. Sometimes I throw like little good videos up there, up on YouTube here, you know. Um, increased protein, such as meats, peanuts, eggs, etc. Uh, protein is very, very good for you. It's a big portion of where we get our energy from. So definitely want to increase protein. Uh, cut out high starches. Oh, starches suck. They make us so fat. Um, <laughs> they're so unhealthy. Pastas, breads, potatoes, uh, other certain vegetables, they, they all contain high starches. So I definitely recommend cutting down on your, on your starch uh, intake without a doubt. Eat lots of greens, such as broccoli, green beans, spinach, salads, uh, etc., things like that. Um, that Greens really push things through your system, and that's what you want. You really want to push things through your system. Uh, the more that you push through your system, obviously, the more weight you're going to lose, right? Makes a lot of sense. Um, eat good yogurt with uh, live cultures in it, and maybe even get yourself on a probiotic. And the reason why I say that was because when I was sick, or whatever, um, actually, if I don't eat yogurt now, I, I actually really feel it. I feel it in my digestive tract. Things don't want to work right. Uh, a probiotic is a really good thing. A probiotic, I'll, I'll explain pretty much what a probiotic does. Uh, a probiotic is nothing but like a bunch of little tiny microscopic live cultures uh, that are that are good bacteria. And what they do is they attack the bad bacteria in your body. Uh, they eliminate the bad bacteria. Uh, they balance you out more. Um, with the bad bacteria gone and the good bacteria inside your body, then your body is going to absorb the right nutritional uh, values of foods, um, and it's also going to eject um, the the bad bacteria, and it's going to eject the bad stuff that are in food. So uh, definitely yogurt, um, or definitely probiotic, of course, you know. <clears throat> exercises. Okay, this is a fun one right here. Uh, as for uh, exercises, what I did, get a little smoky in here. <laughs> Uh, exercises. What I did was, I wasn't a physical person. I was 300 and, uh, 334 pounds. I now weigh 250. I was not about to say, oh, right, let's go jump on a treadmill. Let's go for a mountain hike. Let's do this. Let's do that. Hell no. You see, like, I'm sitting right now with my legs crossed. I wasn't, I'm not able to sit with my legs crossed, like, my whole life. Um, so what I started to do was stretches in the morning. Every morning I'd stretch throughout my day, I'd stretch, and of course at night I'd stretch. Um, I'd stretch my hamstrings, my calves, my lower back, my middle back, my upper back, my shoulders, my arms, my neck, uh, and of course even my feet and toes. Um, stretches really uh, was a very nice start for me. Uh, it really got a lot of the, my core going. Uh, it really got a lot of the blood pumping, and being in a flexible body, I was a lot more comfortable in my body. So therefore, um, I was able to start off slow with exercises. So, my ne which comes on here to my next point is start off slow on exercises. Don't just like say, okay, I'm gonna do some like crazy like Richard Simmons, um, you know, three hour long DVD or, you know, whoever, you know what I mean? Uh, j just start off slow, 15 minutes a day, whatever. Increase it as much as you want, you know, test yourself. You're gonna notice uh, really quickly. Um, your body is keeping up and you're going to notice really quickly uh, the awesome things that you're going to be able to accomplish and the things that you're going to be able to do. It's just going to surprise you. You're going to say, wow, holy shit, this is actually working. Uh, love and respect your body. Give it time to heal and definitely give your body time to change. Don't expect to be He-Man overnight. You know what I mean? Like, Don't expect, you know, oh, I've been lifting you know, weights for three days. Where's my muscles? Okay, don't expect that. Um, don't jump into weight training, uh, muscle training. You want to really make sure that you, you're healthy first. Make sure that you know what you can do. You don't want to strain yourself or hurt yourself. So uh, really love yourself. Really love your body. And remember this too. This is the only body that you're going to have for the rest of your life. Take care of it. <laughs> you know, it's just plain and simple. We're not going to get another body. There's no body soul transplant or anything like that right now that I know of. Um, so, just love and respect your body. Give it a chance. Uh, don't give up. Do not give up. Just keep on trying. Fight through it. Love, oh yeah, okay. So yeah, love and respect your body. Uh, do not overdo it. Now, meditation. 
I'm gonna put the paper down for this. Meditating is such an amazing thing. Not only do you need to work out your body, but you also need to work out your mind, okay? Um, you need to retrain your mind, okay? You need to reprogram it a little bit. You gotta say to, your, to yourself, when you meditate, you're exercising your mind. You're making, oh, excuse me, you're making your mind stronger. So how do you meditate? Really simple. Sit up, lay down, just be comfortable, whatever, it doesn't matter, okay? Just sit, I like to sit straight up and down, you know? Uh, or I, I like, I love to meditate in bed before I go to sleep, oh God, it's so relaxing. It just cleanses, it, it really cleanses your mind, it really cleanses your, your body and spirit. So what I do is I sit and I close my eyes, and I breathe in my nose for two seconds, deep breaths, and then I exhale out of the mouth for about four seconds, and I don't breathe through my chest, okay, when I meditate my chest does not move from breathing, it's all down in the gut, your body's going to relax, and meditation is so good for you because it relaxes your muscles, it takes pain away, it takes the cramping away, it relaxes your mind, it relaxes your spirit, it cleanses your brain, it cleanses your subconscious. Meditate as often as you can and just stay relaxed and just stay happy. And the other thing is, last but not least, I don't know if I said it earlier or not, uh, <laughs> um, just keep that attitude of, oh yeah, at the beginning of the video I did, just keep that attitude of gratitude, just be really happy, just be really thankful for everything that you have, be thankful for who you are, be thankful for the friends, the family, the health, the wealth, the relationship, the shoes, the clothes that you wear, the hair in your head, you know, your, your good looks. Uh, you just you just you just gotta feel good about yourself. And once you start doing all of this, this is where you're gonna start dropping a lot of pounds. Okay? I know a lot of people that are like, oh man, you know, I work out for 30, 45 minutes a day and blah 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 and I'm not losing any weight. Because weight loss is a state of mind, just like wealth. I'll explain that in another video of wealth. We'll do another one of those some other time, but not right now. But you're well, who you think about is what you are. So if you sit there and you say, oh, I'm working out, I'm working out, I'm working out, so what? So what? Your body's working out, big walk. You gotta know, you gotta know that it's working. You gotta feel that it's working. You gotta, you gotta mentally change. You gotta be very positive. Be thankful and say, you know what, I'm working out. Tell yourself, I'm working out, I feel great, I'm losing weight, I feel awesome, uh, I, I, this is the best the best shape I've ever been in and blah blah blah. Just constantly fill yourself up with positive affirmations. Okay? You know, Lance Armstrong, he didn't become like the fastest man on two wheels just physically. He knew he can. Like he knew that shit was gonna happen for him. The Wright brothers, they did not think, okay, we're gonna fly. And we're going to build this machine. It should work. No. They knew that they were going to fly. They knew that they were going to be the first people off the ground. They knew and they did not give up. So that's what it's about. Just don't give up. Just keep your mind mentally strong, mentally stable and happy. And that's that's all I got to say about it. You know, um, you, you are what you think. What you think about, you bring about. It's... That's like the strongest advice that I can give to anybody. So everything that you've ever wanted in your life that you have right now is because you've earned it. And know, know that you deserve it. If you want to be thin, know that you deserve to be thin. Know that you're going to change. Just feel it. Just you got to feel it. you got to put out that vibe to the universe or that vibe to God or that vibe to yourself. Believe in yourself. You know that you can do it. And also, what, what also helps too is having supporters, such as your family. Get your family on board. You know what? Your, my daughter, she lost a bunch of weight. My wife, she lost uh, a whole bunch of weight too, you know. Uh, she, they, they both look great. They both feel better. I feel better. I lost, I, I lost 86, well, as of today, over 86 pounds, you know. Um, you just gotta, you just gotta feel better, man. Like, it, it just, that, that's what it's about. And I'm, and I'm saying this, like, from the deepest part of my heart to everybody out there, keep your mind straight. Know that you can do it. Know that it's gonna happen. 
and be positive. And don't let anything ever, ever stand in your way. There's no such thing as an obstacle. Just remember that. Alright, so guys, I hope that you guys like my video. Uh, please share this video. I hope that it helps somebody. Even if, uh, even if like, I get 40,000 views and I only change one person's life, I did my job. I did good. So please like it, share it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, spread the word. Uh, just give out love to me. Give out love to everybody. If anybody has any questions, please comment on the bottom. Uh, find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'll put the links on the bottom as well. And please, guys, don't forget, give me a thumbs up. All right, so I am Sean. Hi, Roma1969. Stay positive. Keep love. I'm out.